Hi guys, let's see now the solution of question number 5 of set D, mathematics. The question is, let omega be a complex number such that 2 omega plus 1 is equal to z, where z is equal to square root of minus 3. Now, we've been given that the determinant or there's a value of deter value in the determinant which is equal to 3k and we have to find the value of this k. So, in the given question, the only thing which is given clearly to us is that 2 omega plus 1 is equal to z. Now, we, have also, we also know that this z is equal to square root of minus 3 or we can say that this z is actually equal to root 3 iota. Now, if I substitute this value in this equation, we are going to get 2 omega plus 1 is equal to root 3 iota. And at the same time, I can say that omega is equal to minus 1 plus root 3 iota by 2. So, we now have the value of omega is equal to minus 1 minus root 3 iota by 2. And we also know that 1 plus omega plus omega square is equal to 0. Now, if I substitute the value of omega, we can say that omega is also equal to minus 1 minus omega square, which you can see is the second element of row 2. And at the same time, we have this omega raised to the power 7. Now, we already know that omega is the square, is the cube root of unity. So this means omega 7 can be written as omega cube, which will become unity, into omega cube, which will again become unity. And this will be into omega. So this will become 1 into 1 into omega. That will be equal to omega. So now the determinant which is given to us, well, it can be rewritten as 1, 1, 1. Then again, in the second row, we'll have 1. Now, minus omega square minus 1 will be replaced by this omega. And there will be omega square here. And this will be written as 1 omega square. And omega raised to the power 7 will become omega. And this value is equal to 3k. Now, if we will expand this determinant, we know it will become 1 into omega square minus omega raised to the power 4 minus 1 into omega minus omega square and plus 1 into omega minus uh, omega square minus omega and this will be equal to 3k. Upon solution, this will give us omega square. Now, omega raised to the power 4 will become omega cube into omega and hence simply omega. So, it will become omega minus omega plus omega square plus omega square minus omega is equal to 3k. And thus I can say that 3k is actually equal to 3 omega square minus 3 omega. We can take this 3 common on the right hand side and cancel 3 and 3 both sides. So it will become k is equal to omega square minus omega. We know that the value of omega square, well, from this particular equation, this equation right here is minus 1 minus omega and then again we will have this minus omega. So k is now equal to minus 1 minus 2 omega. Now if we simply substitute the value of omega from here, then we can say that the value of this k will be equal to minus 1 minus 2 times, well, minus 1 plus root 3 iota by 2. Or we can say that this 2 and 2 will cancel each other. We will have minus 1 plus 1 minus root 3 iota. And finally, we will have minus 1 and 1 which will cancel each other. And k will be equal to minus root 3 iota. And we know that root 3 iota is actually our z. So the value of k is equal to minus z. And this is the solution to our question.